My name is Shiv, and welcome back to the series where we study for front-end engineering interview questions. Today we're asked to build a function that handles fetching of multiple APIs while handling the prioritization and errors. So basically we're given a list of URLs and API URLs such as this. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to build a function called fetch all APIs where we can pass in our API URLs and then it should return a promise. And basically what should happen according to the following rules, we should return the successful results with the highest priority. But if all the APIs reject, then we should handle the reject method in parallel. By the way, I'm very close to hitting 100 subscribers. So if you find this video helpful, consider pressing the like and subscribe button below. All right, with that, let's get started. So let's build the fetch all APIs function. So what we want to do here is we'll say function fetch all APIs, which will receive a list of APIs. And then in here, we want to create a constant variable. We'll say const promises which is just gonna iterate through APIs and do APIs.map API. And then it's gonna return us fetch API. So this will return us a list of uh, fetches for all of the API URLs that we've been provided. And then what we can do here is we'll say return promise dot all settled which we will pass in our promises in there. And then we'll say dot then, and then we'll get a response. And here, what we will do here is we will iterate through our response. So we'll say for const result of response. And we'll say if result dot status equals to fulfilled then we can simply return result dot value now if for any reason we are not able to return result dot value we'll throw a new error so we'll say throw new error and this is just going to say all promises fail and that is pretty much it we are passing in our APIs to the fetch all APIs function. Then we can create a promises variable, which is basically mapping through our list of URLs and then fetching each individual API uh, as a list of promises. Then this function is returning a promise that all settled, which is passing in the promise, promises list, which will then return a response. We will then iterate through the list of response values as long as the status is fulfilled, we will return the result.value. If for any reason any of the statuses are not fulfilled and we cannot return result.value, we'll throw a new error saying all promises failed. And that's about it. If you guys found this video helpful, consider pressing the subscribe and like button below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.